show you guys a couple wedding dress options. It looks so good in the apartment. So excited to show you guys. So excited to have my camera back for Vlogmas. We're going on a yacht. I've been working really hard on my holiday gift guide, but I'm so happy with how this area turned out. It's you. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Allison. Starting off the vlog on a Friday. It's gonna be a really exciting weekend here in Miami because one of my best friends from college is coming to visit. I'm so excited. Her name's Dana. You guys have seen her in my vlogs before, but she lives in New York and she just randomly decided she was gonna take a trip to Miami. So I'm freaking out because I haven't seen any of my like home or college friends yet since moving here. So she's going to be my first visitor. Anyway, I just woke up. It's like eight o'clock and look at my new PJ set. Lunia just sent it to me. Um, I'll link their Instagram right here. I'm obsessed with all of their stuff. They have a lot of like silk loungewear PJ sets. And this one is like the high rise pant silk set and it's in Navy and the material is so amazing. Um, I love it, but I wanted to share it on here because I feel like it would make a really good Christmas gift or gift for the holidays. I would love to receive this as a gift. So I'll have it linked in the description and I do have a discount code so you guys can save money. So if you're looking for a really high quality luxe PJ set, then definitely check out Lunia. I also wanted to film because I have some exciting packages that just came in. I have this hallway in my apartment. I'll show you guys, but it's, um... I didn't know what to do with it and I decided I was going to make like a second entryway walkway area. I'll show you guys the empty area in a second, but this is an art piece from a brand that I'm working with, Decenio. I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but I always saw them on Instagram and they reached out to me for a gifted collaboration. So this is not sponsored or anything, but they did send me a print. I have a discount code that I will have links up here and I think this could be a really cool gift for the holidays as well. I like getting really personal and sentimental gifts, so I think art is a good way to give someone something sentimental. They also have a whole bunch of frames, so if you're in need of frames for pictures, that's another really good gift idea. You could print out some pictures at like Walgreens, CVS, and then get some really aesthetic frames. It says there is art inside. And then this is something I ordered myself from Amazon and it's one of those really cute like console tables. Um, it's wood and I can't wait to unbox it. I hope the color looks good. It wasn't the color I originally wanted because it was sold out, but I think this is the second best color. So I'm hoping it matches the cupboards in my kitchen. Yeah, I'm hoping the table is a light wood similar to this to match, but I have this really awkward hallway right here that I can't put much in because I have this closet that opens pretty wide. So I wanted a table to go here that would fit lengthwise that wouldn't stick out too much. So I think it might be perfect. And then the wall is really high and just blank. So I got that really big picture from Decenio to put here that I'm gonna unbox right now to show you. This is my first entryway table. So I was like, do I really want another entryway table? But it doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know what else to put here and like, look how blank and empty this looks. Also, they have a new Studio Hollywood collection starring Sophia Ritchie, which I think is really cool. I looked up some of her art pieces and they're actually really cool. They're very like beachy, California, um, vintage looking vibes. So I love it. So I almost got some of hers, but I chose to get this Prada print. It's very simple. I think it'll look so good in the apartment. Me and Ryan are both a fan of Prada as a designer in general, so I thought it fit both of our personal styles. And the main reason I got it is the arrow. I think this is the perfect entryway print because the arrow will be pointing into the apartment down the hallway. So I just think it's such a vibe. I love it so, so much. So I got the biggest size they had, and it's huge. I'll put the exact measurements down below. And then I got the matching frame, which is really nice. When you go to check out, there's always like a matching frame. So really quick and easy. You don't have to struggle trying to find a frame that fits. And I got it in this light wood coloring. I got this other print and I honestly didn't realize how small it is. It's like your standard picture size, like the size of my hand. And I got it for above the bar cart. I did not get a frame to go with it because I already had a frame that I think I'm gonna use. 
Um, my bar cart's gold, so I have a gold frame already. We had these pictures in our old apartment and I don't know, I just wasn't vibing with them anymore. This is Otto when he was a puppy. He's so shaggy and cute. I don't really like gold accents, but my bar cart is gold. So I think if I put this in here and put it above the bar cart, it'll look really cute. There she is in the frame. Look how big it is, like compared to my bed. It takes up almost my whole king bed. <laughs> it's you, Otto. It's you. All right, here is the spritz in the frame. And these frames are from Target so long ago, but they're actually really cool because they don't have to fit a specific like slot. You can just put any type of picture wherever you want. What do we think? I think it looks cute. It looks good and it matches my Aperol. Down here, we love a homemade Aperol spritz. Ryan is putting it together. Guys, I am obsessed. Ryan hung up the painting. We're gonna keep it here. I put my new candle that I got from Home Goods the other day on it. I think the gold accents look so good. And then the black ties in the black up here. And then the wood accent on the frame ties in that. Along with this, the earthy tones here. Oh, I love it so much. I can't wait to film an apartment tour. My apartment is not ready yet. I still need to get a lot of artwork and a rug. And then, I don't know, but I hope it'll be ready soon because I really want to show you guys my full apartment. But I'm so happy with how this area turned out. I'll have my code linked for Decenio. Don't forget to check out their art prints. I loved so many things on their site. It was so hard for me to choose. So if you're in need of art, definitely check them out. So I wanted to show you guys, I've been working really hard on my holiday gift guides. I didn't know what the easiest way to share things would be, but I have multiple different platforms that I think I'm gonna share gifts from. So the first one obviously being Amazon. I have an Amazon storefront, so I made a gift guide 2022 list on here. And I'm not even gonna categorize it. I feel like it's too much when people have so many different folders like stocking stuffers, gift ideas for her, gift ideas for him. Like I just want it all in one folder. So I have some guy stuff here, I have girl stuff, I have expensive things, I have little stocking stuffer things but all of my favorite items are in here for Amazon, so I'll have that linked. I'm gonna keep a stories highlight up on my Instagram for November and December that you can just easily click the link, so I'm gonna post that right now, and then I'm also gonna do on Revolve, because I have a Revolve favorites list, so this is my list on Revolve that I'll also have in the highlight. Um, lots of good stuff on here, tried to get a variety. I have a long-term partnership with Monier Paris. They're actually sending me um, a bag right now, a Marc Jacobs bag, which is crazy, but they have so many good designer luxury pieces on their site, so that'll be a little more pricey, but I do have a discount code that gets you 30% off, which is huge. Like literally get like a Balenciaga bag with like a few hundred dollars off using my code. So I feel like that's really, really good. Jack Moose, Coach, Golden Goose, Balenciaga, Alexander Wang, Marc Jacob, Acne Studios, they have a bunch of Acne Studio scarves. By Far bags are some of my favorite bags as well. They have Birkenstock, Bottega, Colt Gaia, Uggs, Valentino, Versace, so many brands we love, we know and love. They actually are gonna put a custom page for me on their site, so they asked me to send over my selects or my favorite things from their site that they can put together in a page. So once they send that over to me, I'll have that also linked for a gift guide as well. And I think it's crazy that I have a code with them because seriously, take advantage if you ever wanted to buy a designer item, now is the time because you can get a couple hundred dollars off of an item. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I just got ready because Dana is here with her boyfriend John. So their friend lives in Miami and he charters a yacht or something, I don't know, but we're going on a yacht. So this is the outfit. I'm wearing just like a plain black bikini under this from Target and then this set is from Pepper Mayo. I love this cover up. What is this hair? We're gonna be on the boat literally all day, so I'm really excited. I haven't been on a boat since I moved to Miami. That's been one of my goals to have a boat day, so I can't 
wait and I'm not gonna bring my camera but maybe I'll take some clips on my phone I just got an exciting package in from Monet Paris. It's a PR package. Um, I'm working with them and I'm so freaking excited. If you are looking for a luxury item or for someone for the holidays, check them out because they have such affordable things and you can use my code, which I'll have links up here to get an extra 20% off, which makes things so affordable. They let me pick out something on their site and I decided to get a Marc Jacobs bag and I'm so excited to show you guys what it is. Here is the bag, she is perfect. It's one of those Teddy tote bags and I think this is their medium size. They also have like micro mini ones but I think this is a really good size um, just for everyday use, grabbing it for errands, like bringing Otto to the dog park. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's the perfect like November winter accessory. Even though I'm in Miami, it's a way for me to dress kind of wintry and stay true to the seasons of fashion. I think this exact one is sold out, but they have other fluffy totes like this. So I'll have, I think there's a cute little micro green one still available. So I'll have that linked down below. It comes with a strap so you don't have to always hold it by the handles that just clips on. And I'm actually gonna bring Otto to the dog park right now. <laughs> what did you do to your leash, buddy? Let's go. Let's go to the dog park. Hey guys, good morning. Um, Chamberlain Coffee sent me some of their new, or not their new, but like their best selling products for their Black Friday sale happening right now. So definitely check out their site. They have different sales every day and this is hands down my favorite coffee. I really don't drink coffee, but I love like their chai tea and their matcha. Um, so I'm having Ryan drink the coffee. I put their coffee grounds in our jar and he's been loving the pumpkin spice coffee, but also they sent me peppermint mocha, which I'm saving for the holidays when I put out the Christmas decor. We're gonna use this, but they're all just so cute. And then I also, I'm gonna try their decaf blend because I don't drink coffee because the caffeine is too much for me. It just makes me too anxious and I'm on like a healing journey right now with my anxiety. So I'm not drinking coffee, but I find that things like matcha agree more with my body, so normally I love a dirty iced chai, but the caffeine is too much, so just doing a chai tea is, works a lot better for me. So, we're gonna make an iced chai. They're cute little cups, look, they sent me a mug. Oh, I love Emma Chamberlain so much, and I love her brand, so definitely worth the hype. And they sent me one of these little mixers, which is clutch, because I don't have anything like this, so when you make the matcha, you definitely want something like this. Ryan, you're in the back. Ignore Ryan chilling in the back, but no, it's okay. I wanted to come on here and show you guys a couple wedding dress options that I have right now. Um, so I have a wedding on New Year's Eve. One of my best friends from college, I'm in the wedding, I'm a bridesmaid, so I have to get a bridesmaid's dress. So the only requirement is that the dress is black. It's a formal black tie wedding, so it has to be floor length. And obviously I don't want it to be too booby, I want it to be appropriate. So this is the first option from Zara. I Oh my god, my G7X camera is broken right now, so I have to finish this on my phone. So frustrating. But anyway, this is the first option. It's floor length. I love it. I love this, like, draped neck. It's a little bit sexy. Shows a little bit right there, but not too much. And I just think it's so sleek and elegant. So this is an amazing option for a winter wedding. It was only $70. I got it in a size small. So this is option one. This next one is also really stunning from Zara. It's not as floor length, so I don't know if that's gonna be an issue, but it's still pretty long. And then I love the material. It's like that liquid black. It's, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of a rough material, but it's different. And I really like the chest area, the details on the chest. Um, and then this is the back, which I think is so pretty. And then it has a slit 
in the back, which I like. So I think this is another really good option. I got it in a size medium and I feel like it's a little big. I want it to like hug my curves a little more. So if I keep this one, I'm gonna return it and get a size small. Although I don't know if the small would fit the boobs, but I wish it was a little more like cinched at the waist like this. $50 for this, which I think is such a good price. This last option, option three is from Revolve. And this is just an immediate no for me. I think it just doesn't fit me the way it should fit. It's way too long, first of all, so I would have to get it um, hemmed for sure, but it's a lot of fabric to get hemmed. If you're tall, this might be a really good option for you, but I'm like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, so it just doesn't work on my body, but I love the material, really thick and silky. And then the neck is a little interesting. I think it goes up a little too high. I feel like it's a very awkward length and I don't love it, but it hooks at the top so you can adjust it with the hooks. And I like how it makes me look slender right here, like the cutout. It's definitely the better quality out of the three options, but again, it's Revolve, so it's a little more pricey. The brand is Lovers and Friends, and it is around $100, which I thought was pretty affordable for Revolve because all of their dresses are so, so pricey. But I have a whole list on my Revolve favorites of formal wedding gown winter options because I've been on the hunt. So I'll have the list linked down below if you're looking for a wedding dress for the winter. Hey guys, I'm about to go take my camera to go get it fixed. I'm actually testing it out right now. Yeah, I just turned it on and the battery's already dying. This battery's fully charged. I tried two new batteries that I bought, charged them, and it does the same. You a photographer? Uh, a vlogger. I do YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, okay. What kind of you- Yay, guys. I just picked up my camera and I got it back and I'm testing it out. So, I don't know what the hell was wrong with it. Basically, I don't know if I said this, but anytime I put a battery in, a charged battery, it would die in five seconds and say, like, the battery needs to be charged. So, I don't know if it was an issue with my battery. I bought all new batteries, tested them out, and I'm testing out the camera now. They said nothing was wrong with it and they didn't do any repairs and it checked out okay and the battery was good and everything. So really weird, I don't know. It seems to be good right now. It's recording and not dying. So I don't know if it was a glitch. I don't know what the heck it was, but if that's happened to you, let me know if you have the Canon G7X. But I'm so excited to have my camera back because now I can start filming for Vlogmas. I think my first vlog for Vlogmas is I'm gonna um, vlog my Thanksgiving day because we're having a Friendsgiving. It's Ryan's birthday and I'm gonna prep all these meals for Friendsgiving. I got a surprise cheesecake birthday cake for Ryan from um, this really fire bakery, Fireman's Bakery or something. I'll have it linked here. But um, yeah, I got a really nice cheesecake for him. It looks so bomb. And then also I'm doing mashed potatoes. What else am I doing? Pumpkin pie, stuffing, so I gotta go grocery shopping and get some stuff for Friendsgiving. I wanna decorate for Christmas too, but I just ordered a tree from Amazon and I don't think it's coming until after Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna wait till after Thanksgiving to do, to decorate, but that'll be on my Vlogmas vlog. So I'm so excited to have my camera back for Vlogmas. I don't know if this is relevant for any of you, but if you are in Miami, this is the repair shop I go to, Southern Photo Technical Service. I've been there multiple times. They always take such good care of my camera. They always fix the issue. They're so nice and I haven't paid both times I've been there. The first time they screwed my screws back on the viewfinder. If you have a Canon G7X, you know, like that's so annoying. The screws come loose. They screwed it for me, didn't charge me. This time, I don't know what they did, but they seemed to fix it and they didn't charge me and said there was no issue. So I just, great customer service. I love them here. 